Hi viewers, welcome to Hindi Vasur. Thank you for watching. So today's topic is your next year, that means 2023. What is going to happen in 2023? How it will be for you? It won't be a very depth, in-depth reading because just surface level. <laughs> okay. So You can watch multiple files here because it is about just next year, what is going to happen next year for you, 2023. So I don't think here you are going to get any triggered messages, so you can watch multiple files if at all you want, but give some time between the files when you are watching multiple files, okay? Just clear your energy of the file and next go for next file okay so let's get into the reading file number one which is blue file so file number one this thief who is this thief this motherfucking thief bichar motherfucker i don't know this fellow is still in the 2023 file number one who you are dealing with there is lot of manipulation, there is lot of clinginess, lot of fightings. Uh, four of pentacles, five of wands, seven of swords. I think one criminal is watching my readings. Still they are criminal. They are doing lot of crimes, lot of either ra robbery, either the manipulation, cheating people, taking advantage of people, telling lies. There are some kind of secret uh, society people involved in this energy. So, point number one, here the zodiac signs are Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. Or Capricorn, Virgo or Capricorn, Leo and Aquarius. Okay, so here the next 2023. Actually, I don't want to, everyone should have very good year at least whatever happened in this 2022. Next year, we should be having very good year. But here, I think you are a very materialistic person. That is also one reason why you are going through all these nonsenses. Because four of pentacles and I am sensing it is your energy, your own energy. You are very much materialistic person. You give a lot of importance to money other than any other things. See, it is 2023 reading. It doesn't mean that this should be happening. Okay. When you are watching this reading, you can change the energy. When I said this four of pentacles is a greedy person. Who is very materialistic person who want money who give importance to materialistic things or who is clingy towards things whether it is materialistic things whether it is people whether it is in the relationship this person is very clingy so you can change your energy by changing your energy you can change your life okay what will come into the 2023 completely depends on your energy but here you may be when you are watching this also this reading also you may be very clingy person. You are very clingy person, very materialistic person. First, you need to take care of yourself. Live freely. Here you are not free. You are stuck somewhere because you want materialistic things. And moreover, you are not even enjoying that materialistic things. It is like one kind of palace is there, golden palace. You are in that palace. You are not moving anywhere. It is not palace. I want to call it as a cage. <laughs> that will be very good, I can say. Because it is not a palace, it is a cage. Golden cage. With a diamond studded. So you are thinking that it is a golden cage with a diamond studded. So I have a golden cage and with diamonds. What is the use? What is the use? Yes, you have golden cage with diamond studded. But what is the use? You are in cage. You cannot move anywhere. You cannot do anything. You are not free. Same thing is happening in your energy. Wherever you are, you are thinking that that is a 
that is what i said it is a golden cage you are just concentrating on that gold and diamonds but you are not looking at that you are not free you lost your freedom you are not independent i hope you are understanding this is the best example i can give for this four of pentacle energy because here no one is telling you to be in this energy you can move but you here you have fear of losing that golden cage and uh, the diamond studded cage you don't want to leave because it is gold it is diamond and you are forgetting that in that process moreover you are not going to eat that gold you are not going to eat the diamonds you are not going to enjoy because that is a cage no one will come into that cage you are alone you should die alone you should sit alone you should eat whatever you do you need to do it alone you cannot enjoy your life you are not free you are in a cage now you can understand better this four of pentacle energy i am sensing it is for you so change your energy okay here more than what is the what is going to happen next year for you i want to give suggestions to you because when we change our energy we can change our outcome it is completely depends on us if you change your energy if you realize that at least after watching this reading if you realize wherever you are it is not serving you it is as simple as i said it is cage you are in a cage and you are feeling that it is gold diamond so i am very wealthy or maybe you are materialistic person simple you are just materialistic person you may be having the desire for that uh, gold and diamonds that materialistic things that glittery things so you just sit in that cage and thinking that it is gold and diamonds i have this gold and diamond cage but meanwhile you forget that you are a human being you are an independent person you deserve freedom you can move anywhere you can do whatever you want you can pursue your dreams simply wherever you are you are becoming old what is the use of having that diamond gold cage because still it is a cage you cannot move you cannot make friendships with others you cannot be free so change your energy because because of this mindset your own mindset okay because of that your own mindset you are getting into this competitive spirit energy like conflicts because you are a very materialistic person you don't want to touch anyone that cage you don't want to touch anyone that cage or you don't want to entertain anyone near that cage and you are thinking that this cage belongs to me so i will die in that cage but i don't go i won't use my freedom because of that whoever comes around that cage no one want to be in that cage for any kind of information no one want to be in that cage maybe they are simply watching you that that golden cage and that diamond studded cage they may be simply watching that cage that's it but here you are feeling that you are just going for fighting five of wands is very conflicted energy first you need to learn how to be free how to move your ass how to be an independent person then you can build that kind of cage that kind of gold cages and number of cages so how many cages you can what you can build even though it is a relationship if it is it is a relationship also you are holding to some relationship understand that see the things clearly that relationship is not serving you in any way you are not enjoying that relationship you are not enjoying that blissful relationship you are not enjoying that love you are not having that emotions you are not having that feelings you yourself also not having that love what kind of life you want to live as a one table one furniture you became a furniture that's it don't get triggered i never expected that first file will be this much triggered file because the other cards also very chaotic or i can say it is very fuckery lot of fuckery is happening in your life just because of your own behavior you you became a furniture even though if at all you are a human being you choose blue maybe you are a masculine energy either a man or female also 
you are in a strong masculine energy but what is the use you became a furniture r1 ah uh, yeah, yeah it is a, at least furniture we can move from that corner to this corner we became like a wall and this five of wands there is lot of conflicts there is no peace actually people should not live in this kind of mess i should appreciate you for living in this mess kudos to you or i should give i really people should give award to you to living in this mess complete mess five of wands seven of swords no four of pentacles complete worst energies you are carrying what kind of fight see it is you yourself are not changing and you are fighting with your own people this five of wands is you need to work with people as a team members but you are not working you are in, you are working against them because of your own insecurities your own fears you need to work on yourself to come out of these fears and insecurities and there is lot of manipulation is happening in your life it is completely different see blue pile whoever choose pile number 1 you are surrounded by a lot of idiots stupid criminals uh, manipulators who is not at all good for not just your energy they are not good for any other energies any any energies no one ha no one entered in this kind of energies near to them and i don't know you are simply because of your materialistic behavior i can say or materialistic nature you simply surrounded by this kind of people and if you think that there are some people in your life they are your friends they are not your friends they are your opponents because they are not working for each other they are working against each other they are not working as a team they are fighting with each other they are competing with each other maybe you are thinking that you have family members you have friends who are your friends who they are your family members so they are there with you no they are not there with you they are completely opposite to you they are competing with you more than competing i can say they are their own uh, uh, conflicts or chaos whatever they are dealing they are dealing with their own shit and you are surrounded by this conflicts chaos and this seven of swords someone is completely manipulating you full to the manipulation seven of swords they are doing lot of manipulation i think in 2021 22 also we received this seven of swords energy a lot this person whether they may be thief because here i am sensing this five of wands is one group of people that's why i said in the initially you may be dealing with some secret society people there will be there some kind of groups they don't know what they are fighting for <laughs> they form a group they don't even know why they are existed what they are fighting for and i think you may be also because of this materialistic desires you may be involved with this group of people i think you are de- already you may be dealing or you already involved in this people but they are not working with each other they are working against each other they may be in the past they may be worked as a team in that society or in that group now they are not with each other they are completely against each other and one person seven of swords i cannot say who is this person what relationship you share they may be your friend they may be your team member whoever in this five of wands energy because you are also belong to this five of wands energy you are also a member of this group and this person also member of this group maybe that is also one reason one person finally here it is like you are completely materialistic person you want materialistic things you are very clingy you don't want you don't want to live anything and your your secret society or whatever group it is there they are completely competing again at again as each other they are not working each other the team is not in the unity and one person literally doing manipulation because you are busy with your with your uh, uh, money with your pentacles with your materialistic desires and these people are very much busy by competing with each other they are fighting with each other and other person is simply sneakily they are doing whatever they want to do behind this back because everyone is busy 
here this group is busy here you are busy so this person is doing whatever they need to do behind the back they may be using your names they may be that's why i said they may be belongs to the secret society <laughs> why i am getting secret society <laughs> you may be having some kind of secret society so that is also one reason because i never use this word so anyway maybe you belong to some kind of secret society so that in that group one person is completely doing some manipulation or some kind of fraud which is happening behind the scenes because even this group of people don't know and even you also don't know because you are very much busy as i said you are very clingy towards whatever you have and this group uh, group is very much busy fighting with each other and this fellow is very much be, be very much busy <laughs> doing sneaky shit or fraud or any kind of thing whatever they are doing it is completely like manipulation or cheating or robbery maybe they are planning to do some robbery but here you don't even have much money they are just four of pentacles even they rob you also they won't get much <laughs> it is really what kind of people because of your energy that's why i said we should vibrate vibrate high we should keep clean energy our energy should be very good high vibrational energy if you deal with this kind of low vibrational people this all are lower including you if, even if you get trigger also your vibration also very much low vibration a four of pentacles is not a good vibration it is low vibration having lot of insecurities lot of fears a uh, lot of clinginess lot of materialisticness greediness a uh, shallow thinking narrow thinking where is the freedom and this is why you born on this on this planet vibrate high if you change your vibration these people will fall out from your life you no need to do anything when we vibrate high the low vibration will people the low vibration people will fall out automatically we no need to do anything the more we are vibrating high the more they will get out of our life so here first you need to change your energy by number one we are watching group by you surround you are surrounded by lot of as i said maybe they are criminals maybe they are belong to as i said you may be belong to some secret society come out of it okay i don't know because of what reasons maybe because of this materialistic reasons you are this you are in this secret society but here someone is planning something behind your back that can be manipulation fraud cheating robbery whatever it can be and moreover that secret society also not in a unity they are completely working against each other so what is the use of being in this kind of energy vibrate high change your energy so that you can change this to next 2023 it is in your hands it, it is in our hands if we vibrate high we will attract if we high if we vibrate high we attract good people kind people positive people in our life if we hybrid low this is what this kind of thieves this kind of what we can call them huh? competitors or fighters or hey, that is a good word actually <laughs> very low vibrational people you are attracting because of your own vibration change your vibration okay at least after watching this reading try to change your vibration see when i say change your vibration some people will ask what to do here you no need to do anything try to align your seven chakras as a human being we no need to do much things i know there are people they do white magic black magic babla magic that magic this magic so many things they do no need to do just aligning our chakras that seven chakras should be in alignment that is enough you for your high vibration nothing can touch you no one can touch you you should be in that alignment and you will get whatever you do you will be positive you will get success in that so let's move on to pile number 2 who choose red pile so red pile okay at least this energy is good the energy is very headache first pile energy is i need to cleanse <laughs> so 
So point number two, who to select point here? The zodiac signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because page of wands is there. And uh, four of swords, it is Libra. Libra. Hey, this Libra signs always go through some kind of heartbreaks. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Viru. Okay. So. Aries, Leo, Sagi, Libra, and Virgo. Okay. Hmm. So here, for you, it is a good month, good year. Not just month. I think 2023 will be very good year. You are going to fulfill all your wishes. You are going to listen. I think here you are going to receive some kind of good news, whether in the sense of relationship matters, whether in the sense of mostly I can say it is in the sense of career related matters. Okay. Maybe you are doing lot of hard work and uh, you are waiting for some kind of opportunities. You may be having some kind of ideas to execute to uh, hmm, to create something because Paige is a very kid nature, very creative personality. So you may be a very creative person, but because of your age, Paige, it is Paige. Okay, that is also one reason. Paige is very creative. Hmm, you may be having that. Uh, brave i can say here i cannot say courageous person you are a very brave kid no matter what age you may be you are a very brave kid you ready to take action even though you will be having some kind of uh, hesitation okay because it is not a knight or a king it is page and you are a very passionate person fiery person okay that it is like a kid one 15 16 years old kid teenage kid they have some idea they want to create something they want to execute something uh, they have some plans to do something but they won't have any kind of support either whether it is in the sense of financial support whether it is sense of men mentor because this page needs one mentor to do something without mentor they cannot do the things yeah, 16 17 years teenagers if they want to do some project they need some guide or mentor to tell them the, to watch out that process complete process whether they are doing it in the right way or not so maybe you are energy is like that maybe when you are watching that time also you may be in that energy okay page of wands energy you may be having lot of ideas lot of creative nature lot of confidence uh, that courage but the thing is because of your uh mostly here i can say because of you are you are a page you may be looking for some kind of mentor who can understand you in your mental level so here in the 2023 you are going to get some kind of you are going to receive some kind of good news regarding that support more than here i can say support you are going to receive some kind of support page of wands because you are a kid and here this kid is going to receive some kind of support uh, it is like a guidance kind of some one you are going to meet someone as a guide or you are going to meet some kind of leader who can who can show you the right way to do the things or who can lead you in your way or who can be a mentor who can tell you what to do what should not do how to do it in which way you need to do it in the uh, quickly mentor is like It is like uh, motivating you to do the things, to execute that ideas. So you may be lack that mentor in your life. In till when you are watching this also, you may be lack that mentor. You may be looking for that kind of personality in your life who can who can motivate you, who can guide you, who can show the right path to execute your creativity, to create something. Okay. So here in 2023 you are going to meet that person because the, it is like good news means you are going to receive that support. Okay, you are going to receive some support. Whether if at all you are looking for that uh, more than I can say, if at all someone is helping you as a financially also, they will watch over you because they won't simply give you money and they won't lift because of your energy. They will keep. i am you whether you are doing it in a right way or not so that's why i said more than it is financial help i can say it is mentoring someone you are going to receive someone in your life as a mentor as a leader who can lead your way 
and i think that person whomever you are going to get that person is going to help you to come out of this heartbreak maybe you may be having some kind of heartbreaks because of your childish nature or because of you are a kid you may be don't know how to deal with people that is also one reason maybe people took advantage of you people took advantage of you or uh, just because of your childish nature you may be did something because of that you got some kind of heartbreaks in your life so here in 2023 you are going to heal from that heartbreaks okay whatever betrayals whatever heartbreaks will be there are as simple as like you may be having some kind of child uh, wood wounds that is also you may be healing okay that 2023 will be two things for you very important you are going to meet someone and they are going to help you to heal your wounds whatever it may be either uh, three of swords or heartbreak wounds or betrayed by your own people or childhood wounds in the childhood maybe someone took advantage of you or at least you are in the still you are in a page energy so maybe till now also people are taking advantage of you you are you are innocent more than anything here i can say you are innocent people taking advantage of your innocence so in the next 2023 you are going to heal from all those hurts whatever uh, pains you may be having currently when you are watching also you may be dealing with some kind of wounds some kind of pains some kind of betrayals you are going to heal from everything in the 2023 mostly heart related okay here not financial related mostly in the sense of relationship you may be got hurt most more than once so that is also one reason maybe you need this healing that three of swords healing okay so in 2023 you are going to heal your heart breaks which you uh, see when i say heart break it doesn't mean that you are going to get from your uh, lover or spouse it is relationship not just it is with anyone your own family may be betrayed you your own siblings betrayed you your own friends betrayed you anything but it is related to your heart and it means feelings emotions so you are going to heal all those things in in the 2023 even in your childhood if anyone took advantage of you and did something wrong to you you are going to heal from that also okay so in 2023 half of the part is completely about healing and that is also i think in the um, sense of personal related and when it comes to professional related matters i think you are a page as of now also you are a page energy maybe you have very creative thoughts and all as i said in the initially but because of your energy no one renewed you no one trusted you that is also one reason maybe you have some kind of desire to achieve this nine of pentacle energy that means becoming abundant materialistically having everything materialistically getting satisfied materialistically or uh, it is like being free materialistically you where you should not you cannot you no need to worry about paying bills and all it may be till now when you are watching this reading also you may be living like a paycheck to paycheck so in the 2023 you are going to come out of that energy okay whatever financial situation you may be in the 2023 you will be having lot of money lot of money means like you won't be worry about money you won't be having any kind of financial worries financial related worries materialistic related worries you will be free you will be having that financial freedom because i think here you are going to receive some good news as a person you are going to meet some people who can help you who can guide you who can mentor you to achieve your goals i can say because this nine of pentacle is like building your uh business kind of thing or building your career so because of those people's help whoever helping you because of that people's help you are going to reach this nine of pentacle energy where you are Uh, not going to worry about money not going to worry about the paying bills not going to worry about materialistic things you will be having everything you feel abundant 
you feel rich you will live a very privileged life where it is like see it is not that someone is going to give you money you are going to live privileged like you will become independent financial independence where you are going to earn your own money this money is not someone is giving to you you are going to earn this money okay so here i think in the 2022 now you may be struggling with money not it is completely depends on you how much you are struggling and what kind of situation you may be dealing in the sense of materialistic matters and uh, in, fina- in in personal life also i don't think uh, you are doing good because you are completely you need lot of feeling in your personal relationships so in the 2023 is very good for you because that is also one reason page of fans is like good news good message something good is going to happen so that good is like your personal relationship you are going to heal completely all those heartbreaks all those betrayals that healing will happen and when it comes to career related matters you are going to reach your goal okay maybe you have had some kind of financial goal because nine of pentacles is wish fulfillment in the sense of materialistic things okay freedom from the financial freedom so you may be having some kind of goal i need to have this much bank balance i need to have so and so things in my life so i want to earn this so and so things in my life so in 2023 you are going to fulfill those financial desires wishes okay it is a good month good year for you okay so keep going whatever you are doing don't lose your hope don't lose your uh, passion don't lose your um, courage you will going to receive help okay and he you are going to give that time for yourself also you are healing healing is happening okay you are going to give that time to yourself to heal from all those things for especially when it comes to personal relations so let's move on to pile number 3 who choose yellow pile so pile number 3 you are 2023 signs are cancer taurus pisces cancer again scorpio pisces cancer <laughs> cancer scorpio pisces cups it is a good year for you also okay so here so pile number 3 i think you are a single person or at least Uh, here it is like four of cups is there may be currently also you may be in this energy because you may be having lot of suitors around you who want to offer a cup of love to you or who want to be in your company who want your uh, love but the thing is here you are not interested in any of uh, relationships i can say or love especially you are not interested in love you are maybe you have your own reasons for that whatever the reasons may be but here you are not accepting anyone's cup i can say maybe here you have a lot of suitors because of your beauty or because of your intelligence because of your job because of your money whatever it may be okay you have a lot of people around you who want to offer you their cup of love to you uh, they want to offer their presence or i can say company they want to offer their care love compassion you are not interested it is simply like you are not just accepting anyone's cups you may be very much okay with yourself you don't want all those things or i here i'm sensing completely it is like you don't want relationship maybe you got in some kind of toxicity in the past or something happened maybe in the sense of relationship matters so you don't want to be again in that relationship that is also one reason you don't want to take anyone's cup even though you have a lot of people around you who want to offer relationship but here you are not interested maybe you want to be single okay so when it comes to your personal life i am sensing it is completely single life okay it is not that you don't have anyone you have people but you are not showing any interest in relationship 
emotional area especially in the relationship couple relationship and when it comes to money matters or any other things also you are dealing fairly like equal give and take you are maintaining equal give and take you will be having money you are helping others also at the same time you are maintaining that equal give and take you are not losing balance you are completely in balance especially here i can say as a person when it comes to your professional related matters you are maintaining equal give and take you are not losing your balance you are keeping your skills in the balance if at all you are giving someone something even it is like simply if at all you are spending your 5 minutes time also you are thinking that what you are going to get in that 5 minutes if at all it is equal whatever you are going to get in that for that 5 minutes then only you are going to invest that 5 minutes so that means you are completely maintaining equal give and take whatever you are doing okay especially in the financial area okay. but when it comes to personal relationships like a love uh, couple i think you are not showing any interest in that when it comes to family you are very much happy with your family situation maybe you may be having family like uh, parents siblings uh, kind of and because here i cannot say it is a partner because you yourself is not accepting the love so it is not from you but you may be having this 10 of cups family where it is like as i said maybe it is parents siblings some other people are involved in your family maybe you are in a joint family so that people will be very happy and you are also very much happy in that family atmosphere it is like you just don't want to invest your own emotions here you have family life you have family but you here you don't want your own partner i can say okay you don't want that partnership maybe you are looking for this equal give and take and you may be not finding anyone in the sense or uh, you are simply not interested and that's why i said because here these energies are very good you have family which is very happy family then of cups family they are loving you unconditionally so you may be very much interested in your family atmosphere like uh, with your parents and siblings you may be not looking for your partner uh, or i can say you may be not interested in marriage that low partnership kind of energy that is also one reason maybe you are not uh, accepting anyone's cup but anyway in 2023 you will be having lot of suitors even now you may be having or not but in 2023 there will be lot of people the reason why people want to give offer this cup of love is you are maintaining equal give and take you will be very generous person no matter how you are right now currently but in 2023 you will be you will be very generous but at the same time you will maintain that equal give and take you don't lose the balance and moreover you will be having good family very happy family you will be happy when it comes to emotions i think your family is very much uh, you are very much satisfied with your family life so that is also one reason you are not looking for love from outside more than your family <laughs> okay maybe if at all you are a single person there are lot of suitors also you may be very much happy with your 10 of cups family which is you are already having so you are no more interested in that outside people so that is also one reason you are not accepting but here why i said is because here you are a very balanced person you are maintaining everything in a balanced way when it comes to career related matter your finances materialistic things even friendships i can say if at all you have friends also you are maintaining that equal give and even even your family you, you, are, you may be maintaining equal give and take but when it comes to the personally with you you are not ready to accept love so that's why maybe you are very much happy be, because these energies are very good okay even though if at all you are a single person you are okay with the family situation whatever you have that is also unconditional family you have your parents your siblings whomever involved in that family they are loving you unconditionally and you are having money money wise also you don't have any problems financial issues because you maintaining equal give and take so you are not going to lose your money you are maintaining it in a balanced way your career related matters your professional matters and you are having happy family so i don't think here you are seeing any reason to have partner but anyway you have suitors you will be having lot of suitors in 2023 okay whether you accept Let's move on to pile number four, which is white pile. So pile number four. Twenty 
थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री पाए नंबर फोर सो पाए नंबर फोर दस जोड़ी एक सेंसर लिब्रा अक्वेरियस एंड लियो I think you are in a good energy, in a king of swords energy. You just don't want to entertain anyone. Maybe 2022, so many people took advantage of you, or you finally learned how to set the boundaries, or you finally learned how to cut the BS negativity toxicity from your life. So you come, you came into the power. If at all you are not till now in 2023, you are going to come into your power in king of swords power. We, you will set lot of boundaries to the people, even it is your family. when you are dealing with your family members also you will set that boundaries limitations till what extent they can take advantage of you till what extent they can come into your life entertain <laughs> entering into your life so you may be having that kind of energy you will be like a queen of swords energy people get intimidated by you because you are not ready to entertain anyone who is not matching with your vibration who is not matching with your energy who is not matching with your the mental level intellectual level because queen of swords is like mentally logical person okay there is no emotions so here that is also one reason you are not entertaining any drama any bullshit any kind of toxicity negativity who ever who ever coming or at least who ever try to come towards you with that nonsense you are going to cut that immediately you are not going to entertain them you are not even going to enter into your life because in the starting only you are going to intimidate them they are going to run away from you and i think here finally you set the boundaries you understood how to deal with it and moreover whatever comes towards you which is not giving you peace you are walking away from everything six of swords moving energy you are not sitting any kind of you see here you are not entertaining bs that is also one reason if at all you are in some situation where you feel that it is lot of drama lot of chaos lot of toxicity you are ready to move on from that situation you are not going to entertain yourself in that situation you are simply moving on because some things will be in your control where you can cut that but some things will you will not be in your control then you need to move on from that area from that situation from that relationship from that place from that job from that person so here you are doing that you are doing that you are as a person you are not entertaining in your life anyone who is not matching with your energy and when it comes to surroundings outside sources also if you find yourself in a toxic situation or any kind of stressful situation more than toxic here i can say stress because six of swords is not much toxicity it is like a stressful which is not serving you as simple as which is not serving you which way you are not getting any benefits you are moving away from that situations you are not keeping yourself stuck in that situations so it is like you are maintaining your own boundaries your own personal life you are maintaining strong boundaries as well as when it comes to surroundings outside outside life not just inside outside life also you are ready to move on from that people from that area from that place whatever it may be which is not serving you you are moving on to the calmer waters to get your mental peace or where you are appreciated but here i think someone is there in your life maybe still you are dealing with this person because this person energy is very stubborn this kid is very stubborn this kid don't want to give up on you <laughs> you are walking away you are in a queen of swords energy but this kid is i don't want you to move on from me i want you in my life but here it is like sun and mother energy but the thing is this kid is very 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 stubborn and i think this kid is doing lot of fakari has lot of irritation frustration they may be bringing some kind of uh, mental stress because here more than anything i am saying six of swords is mental they may be bringing because of their immature behavior they may be bringing lot of mental stress to you 
and you just don't want to deal with this kid because whenever they are coming they are they are uh, coming with lot of stress or they simply giving you lot of stress it is very <laughs> natural some kids especially when we are dealing with stubborn kids they will give lot of mental stress so <laughs> so here you are moving on from that situation but this kid is not letting you to move on from that situation they want you to be in their life or i can say or they want them to be in your life they don't want to leave you that's why i said it is mother and son maybe when mother is moving that kid don't leave them even that mother don't want that kid and they simply do something i don't want to you are irritating me i want to leave you but that kid is no 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 i want to come with you wherever you go i will come with you that kind of <laughs> this is very childish energy child child kid energy so this kid don't want you to move on and you are here you are very much strict even though you are very strict even though you with your salt but this kid is not afraid of you that is a great thing yeah? that's why i said this kid is very stubborn i don't know about courage bravery but this kid is very stubborn kid because of that stubbornness even though you are with your sword that kid is not even caring about that sword because they know that you are not going to cut their throat <laughs> because that is a kid immature kid you know that maybe it is past situation because six of swords is like past thing this person whomever this kid i think when you are watching this reading maybe you are dealing with this kid already in your life so in 2023 also you need to deal with this kid this kid is not going to give up on you and they are not going not letting you to give up on them i don't know what kind of lessons you both are teaching maybe here you are teaching this kid how to be uh how to be like a good kid maybe they are um, okay is like reckless kid or spoiled kid or spoiled brat something we can we call that spoiled brat they don't know how to do the things in the right way they are very stubborn they do their things in their own way uh, that kind of kid may be and here you are a very strict mother or uh, more than teacher i am sensing mother here <laughs> there is a reason <laughs> here you are like a very strict mother and you are teaching you are telling them it should not be happening this way you should not do this i am not going to entertain you and this kid is i want to be in your life so they are not giving up it is good energy actually it is irritating energy i can understand because but it is a very good energy that's what i am feeling some kind of calmness some kind of different here Uh, this kid may be bringing you some kind of mental stress i can understand it when we are dealing with kids we should be very patient and here you are not a very patient person i can say or you may be brought up in a, in such a way that if someone is not right you are going to cut them out no matter who they are so you are in that energy like if if things are not happening in your way or you just uh, some kind of negativity some kind of toxicity a little bit of stress also you are not going to have some you are going to cut everyone so king of swords maybe that is also one reason people afraid to come towards you because this energy itself is like a intimidating energy because everyone will be having a, a, a pros and cons no human being is perfect so here your energy is like very perfect so maybe whoever come towards you you want that perfection in them <laughs> i think this is a lesson for you both from the universe to teach you that everyone is not perfect like you and you should accept the people how they are at least you should accept some things you cannot set that kind of boundaries where you cannot allow if anyone in your life that may be your lesson this kid is doing lot of shit which is not appreciable by you because whatever they are doing it is bringing you lot of stress and here you are like i am not going to take anything 
whether it is bs whether it is stress whether it is negativity whether it is drama i am going to cut but here you are not cutting the screen because this is a kid that's why i said it is not a teacher it is like a mother energy you may be treating this kid as your kid or uh, you may be feeling when you are dealing with this kid you may be feeling like a mother so you are showing knowingly or unknowingly you are becoming very patient with this kid and to this kid also one lesson this kid may be spoiled brat they don't know what to do how to do this kid is very stubborn very stubborn they don't want to give up on the things that means they can achieve great things in their life because of that stubbornness but this kid is not taught how to be our way to use that stubbornness stubbornness in a good way how to use that stubbornness in a good way and here universe brought you together so that this kid can know whatever energy they may be having whatever uh, that stubbornness they may be having how to use it in a proper way so that they can become a good human being in their life no matter what age they may be their energy is completely like a kid energy like immature energy teenager energy more than anything it is like a teenager kid 16 17 18 years kid they will be having lot of passion lot of courage lot of energy uh, they want to do something some kids are very stubborn but maybe this kid from their childhood their parents did not taught them how to use that stubbornness in a good way and here this kid don't want to give up on you even though they know that this kid know that you are a very strict person you have your sword you are going to cut their throat but they are still they don't want to leave you maybe this kid find you as the right person to teach them how to use their energy how to use their stubborn nature how to use that not giving up nature or winning nature in their life to get successful that is also one reason this kid not don't want to give up on you and here you are also trying to move on from this kid but this kid is not letting you to move on that's what i said this kid is not giving up on you and at the same time this kid don't want you to give up on them you can take action towards this kid but you are not doing you can cut their throat because of your strength but you are not doing you are simply moving on from them because you know that this is a immature kid and here you are treating them like a mother you are you became mother to this kid knowing we are unknowingly you both became one child and mother that is also one reason mother can like they can scold their kid but they cannot kill their kid right <laughs> so but here this kid thinking are they they are very much stubbornly they are stopping because they know that you are the right person to become what they want to become they don't want to give up on you and here i don't think they are giving lot of uh, Uh, toxicity neg negativity it is simply they are whenever they are coming because of their immaturity they are in learning stage so because of that immaturity they are creating some kind of stress in your life and i think here you are a person who don't entertain all those things you want to be in your energy you don't let anyone to disturb your energy. but here this kid is teaching you from this lesson like universe uh, maybe it is universe plan to meet this you both in this uh, situation so that you can learn how to be more patient with others so that you cannot cut each and every one so that you cannot uh, uh, intimidate each and every one in your life and this kid will become better person in their life because from them whatever they are doing you are showing your sort so they are learning okay this is not the right way to do the things because this skin became very angry this skin showing a uh, sword or the skin is moving on that means i should not this i should not do this things in this way so they are learning so whenever they are doing some stupid thing you are moving on so they are learning whenever you are moving on they are learning okay this is not the right way to do the things so they are doing it in a right way 
so here this kid is becoming a better person and here you are learning how to be patient how to be more patient because you have a habit of walking away from everything which is not serving you even though little bit of stress also you don't want to take it so it is completely your 2023 Maybe I, other areas of uh, your life I don't know what it will be, but here this person is going to, this kid is going to piss you off a lot because a lot of stress is there, and I think that's why I said it is not looking like frustrated car. That energy is very good, even though it is a stressful energy. As I said, one mother is dealing with one stubborn kid. Even though mother is telling once or twice, and that stubborn kid is learning very slowly. Maybe this kid don't know how to learn quickly, or they are really like a spoiled brat. But here, still they are learning from me. They may be people cannot handle this kid, but here you are handling them in very well. You are very much very good. maybe that is also one reason you both came into this situation that is also one reason universe bring you together so that here you can learn how to be more patient how to be uh, leave certain things how to be easy on certain things certain people because everyone cannot be perfect here and there there is some things will be there where we should accept it but here you are a very much very strict person very perfect person you don't want all those things and here this kid is going to teach you how to be patient more than anything i think this kid is going to teach you how to be patient more patient and you are going to correct them you are going to help you are going to help this kid to be better version of themselves because this is a very spoiled brat and here because of you this kid is becoming better version of themselves but better person i guess This is what this is really a funny situation. I know it can be pissed off, but good energy, nice, good energy. <laughs> so let's move on to pile number five, which is green pile. So pile number five. So pile number five, you are twenty twenty three. Pile number five, green pile. Here the zodiac signs are Gemini, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. Okay, Gemini, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. I think here two energies are there. I can ask say who is who. One is King of Swords energy. very structured very organized very like a leader kind of energy or at least who can control the situations people who can people can listen to them people can follow them people do if they order something they will do people will do at least this if at all it is king of swords i will take king of swords as you even though if at all it is mat not matching with you you can take it for someone you are dealing with. Okay, but here for my comfortability, I will take King of Swords as you are mentioning. So you may be a person who is like in some kind of a target, like with your voice. You may be having some kind of like as simple as like you may be team leader in your organization where you will be having some ten like to ten members team where they can listen to you, they will follow you. You have the control of the team in your hands. you tell them what to do you instruct them because you are a leader you are a team leader so you you will be having that structure that organization where from morning to evening what should be done today's task what task should be done what task should be you to whom you should give the task task like distributing that work okay getting that work from your team members in that some kind of leader but not like masses are just like with voice it completely depends on your situation maybe sometimes you may be controlling people with your voice just with your voice you can control the people in that energy okay it is a good energy because this king of swords is very structured person very organized person and they will be having lot of plans because they are very logical 
King of Swords is very logical. No emotions. Maybe it may be, but mostly this person use very logics. Even in the relationships, there is like they will be having plans also like this today. They will be having some schedule, and they will be stick with that schedule completely. Stick with that schedule, and next day for one week after one week after one month, they will be having different schedules. They will be having plans for after one month also, one year also. Kind of because that is structure, and everything will be under their control. Their their mind, logical mind, will be like that. That is also one reason they will be having that plans for tomorrow, for after one week, for after one month, for after one year. So what should be done? It is nothing but a structure, organized. That is okay. If it is you, it is you. Or else you are just dealing with such kind of person. Who is very logical? Who think logical? You may be very intelligent person, very logical person. Who can, when it comes to specially communication, they can solve the issues with this their communication. They don't need to do much. Actually, actually, mostly they need to take action. They just communication. They can solve that issue. That's why I said you just rule the people with the communication. Like if you're done, you want to do some work somewhere. If it is action means you need to go and do that work. It is like you don't need to do action. You just give one call and tell them this work should be done. It will happen. That is what controlling with your voice. Just by telling through some one phone call, your work will be done. That is nothing but having control. Whether it is organization, whether it is your family, whether it is your work area, as simple as team leader in work area. Or higher level, it is a masses level, some kind of politician, or some kind of yeah, politicians also one kind of they won't have any kind of uh, emotions. Ah, of course, they act like they have emotions. That is acting. Everyone knows that. Okay, so it is like when it comes to specially when it comes to professional way, they won't show any emotions, but they will having good control over. The situation surrounding things, people, everything. So you are dealing with that kind of energy, or you yourself is like a king of swords, very organized and very structured. And your other energy is eight of swords, completely mentally blocked energy. This king of swords is masculine energy. Whether it is a female or male, they are completely in the masculine energy, and this eight of swords is completely in the feminine energy. Whether they may be men or female. They are completely in the feminine energy, and they have lot of mental blocks. They may be having lot of mental blocks where they feel stuck in some kind of situation. Maybe here it is like if at all you are the king of swords energy, you may be dealing with someone in your life, whether they may be your colleague, whether they may be your friend, whether they may be your family member. This person feels you are very controlling, and they are stuck with you. In that situation, yeah. how much true it is completely depends on your situation. Because eight of swords is like self, uh, mentally stuck. It is not that someone is keeping them stuck. It is simply their own mental blocks keeping them stuck. So here, this person may be having lot of mental blocks where they think that in one way or other way they think that you are controlling them. Because of your control, they stuck in some situation where they cannot move forward in their life, where they cannot see anything clearly, where they are feeling like blindfolded, where they are feeling like tied up. Their hands are tied up. They are completely as a person they are tied up. They cannot move anywhere. They cannot do anything. They cannot uh, meet anyone. They cannot enjoy their life. Actually, it is not stuck position. It is not like a hanged man position. It is simply in their brain. Maybe because of your energy, they are feeling in that way. Because your energy is like King of Swords. Very King of Swords is controlling energy, but in a good way. It is not in a bad way. As I said, controlling, having control about complete things. Because you want, you are a very organized and structured person. Even though if it is home, family atmosphere also, you want to know everyone about everyone. 
what they are doing where they are going when they are going when they are coming because you want that structure you are you are very organized person you want everything should be structured so that you won't lose that structure or you you won't allow anyone to break that structure or um, break that unity so that is also one reason you may be like ask them where you are going it is like not every day kind of thing you may be just have that knowledge because you are a mentally very intellectual person so that is also one reason you have that information about each and every you may be keeping that information like where they are going when they are going whom they are meeting just information it is not like you are stalking them or you are keeping tabs on them it is just information if it all you have a uh, kids in your home who it is like kids means mature kids they are teenagers who are going to college you are just having that information your uh, kid is going to college in the morning they will be having morning classes they will come back to the uh, home to so and so timing after that they will do this they will do this and in having that information so maybe because of that nature this person whomever they are in your life they feel like stuck in your life they feel like they cannot move anywhere they feel like you are controlling them and you are keeping them stuck where they cannot see anything they cannot go anywhere they cannot make friends they cannot uh, make they cannot be happy but actually it is completely in their mental level it is completely in their brain and here there is no emotions you both are intellectual like you both are mentally connected you are not you don't have any emotions you both don't have any emotions uh, towards each other this situation is completely mental level that's why i said maybe this person is your uh, employee maybe here sim- as simple as you may be a manager or team leader and one team member just giving an example okay you may be having one team member who is like in this position eight of swords where they feel that you are a very strict you are very controlling so they feel like they are stuck in your team where they cannot go to restroom they cannot uh, go to coffee they cannot go to move take some 5 minutes walk actually it is their own fears it is not you you will be having that control it is natural as a team leader we should have that control over our team where they are going how much time they are spending outside how much they are on the work station it is our responsibility as a team leaders but this team member maybe they are feeling like you are very strict it is their own mental fears their own uh, fears i can say own mental blocks own mental thoughts our own image what they uh, have for you they may be having different image for you maybe you are not that kind of person but this person different thinking differently about you that is also one reason all those fears are became that blocks in their head where they are feeling that you are controlling them it is simply you are in a good energy if at all it is a reverse even i i would have said that you are controlling this person but here you are an upright that means you will controlling but in a positive way but here this person is completely stuck and they are feeling that you are controlling them so here i think there is some kind of balance should be happen in your connection or even though it is a work related connection even though it is a subordinate superior connection you need some kind of balance in the 2023 i think you are going to get this balance maybe in the 2022 you dealt with this situation you may be know it or not that the other person is feeling in this way that you are controlling them after watching this reading you may be coming knowing that okay this person is feeling so and so way if this can be anyone even with your family at least in your family they may be your spouse they may be your sibling anyone in your family but they are feeling like you are controlled so here the balance is needed here why it is happening is there is no emotions in this situation whomever you are dealing that's why i took that work ex- work uh, example because in work area we don't uh, use emotions we work intellectual level we use brain logical side 
but here temperance card is there i think here more than work i think here you are dealing with someone in the in relationship matters but here knowingly or unknowingly you both are investing your logical brain not investing that emotions you may be not having that emotions or you are simply just you are because of your you are king of swords energy you don't use your uh, emotions you use only your intellectual brain or logical brain more than emotions and this kid this person also eight of swords this uh, person also feel like you are not using emotions so they will also feeling it is simply like mental blocks they will also don't show their emotions they will also won't come to you and tell you what they are feeling emotionally how they are feeling they are unable to express those things just because of their own mental blocks because of that fear maybe they are very fearful of you they may be very scared of you because of their your energy and here i think in 2023 you need balance you need to take time to sit with that person whoever they may be whether they may be your family member whether they may be your colleague subordinate okay sit with them talk to them freely so that they can remove this uh, mental block we can I, i think here you can help them to remove this mental block you have that ability sit with them and tell them why you are that strong and why it is very important for you to be in that energy so that this person can understand uh, here i think there is lack of that uh, expression feelings this temperance is balancing the emotions so here i think some kind of balance will going to come whether you are going to create that balance or some way you you are going to i think you are going to take action because this person is completely stuck they are not going to take any action or some way you are going to realize that this situation needs some kind of balance and you are going to bring this balance or someone is going to help you to bring that balance in your situation because you need emotions here in this situation there is no emotions so if at all it is a relationship you need emotions simply logically dealing is not going to work out so that is also one reason maybe this person is completely feeling stuck with you they are not enjoying their life because if it is in a relationship we need to have that feelings emotions there is no emotion there is no feeling so here i think this temperance is maybe either we are getting a message from the universe or some kind of help you are going to get where you will understand that in your situation at least from this tarot reading because this temperance is completely from the universe so from at least from after watching this tarot you will understand that your situation needs some kind of emotion even though they are your subordinate you should sit with them you should understand their personal problems their personal issues not in a deeper level but at least in the surface level we should understand what they are going through so that we can uh, balance the things so here i think you are going to do that maybe after watching this reading you are going to understand that in your situation whomever you are dealing with there is no emotions so you are going to get this balance you are going to bring this balance in 2023 in 2023 you are trying i cannot say you are completely going to balance the situation but at least you are going to you are trying at least to bring this balance so this blocks is nothing but some kind of balance is needed that is also emotional balance and here you both are completely logical person logical people so here you need to bring some emotions into the situation and you need to bring that balance so that you both can understand because king of swords is very good energy and this eight of swords is they are simply having lot of fears and blockages and you can help them because you are a very structured organizer person so you can easily help this person to come out of this mental blocks and for that you need this balance and that is what it is bringing that balance so you are going to bring at least you are going to try to bring that balance into the to three in this situation you try to pour some emotions feelings in this connection okay So thank you for watching for more readings you can like and subscribe for personal readings you can mail me you'll find the details in description box